So this is part 4 on making Ryujin 3.5 tutorial and we're going to focus on just the bottom part of the scale so hopefully at the end of this video all this will be collapsed except the scales which will I don't know if I'll make a tutorial on that but it's the exact same as making them here but just much more than usual so I'm just going to put these creases in place first just these ones here roughly and then I'll start collapsing the transition units basically just extend them all the way up and collapse this part flatter if I can so I'm just going to extend the creases down the now just to help make it more flatter. This needs to be a valley fold. So I'll just pop this one in place, this valley fold, and then the mountain fold, which is right here. Valley fold, and then the mountain fold. This mountain fold goes all the way along, so we can make this.
on no. Now we can make this valley fold all the way along, or just up to here, and then the mountain fold. And then these units are ready to be made. So this is the valley fold. And then it's down one and a half, which is the mountain fold, which is the top of the scales. So I'll just do this now. So down one and a half here. Peg that there just to help hold that in place for now. So that's roughly in place, which is what we need. Now I'm going to do the exact same on the other side, on this side. Again, I'm just putting this part roughly in place because it, this part won't lie flat until you do you do all the scales, the transition units. And then the same again, the valley, and then down one and a half. This is the top of the scales, which is the mountain fold. Much easier to make this thing. And 
again, I'm just going to make it probably. I'm just going to make it enough up to here, roughly. Just so it's enough done that I can use it to collapse these and then extend the creases and collapse these ones. Seems the easiest way to do it. Basically, like that. Peg that there. So, you should have something like this. And now we're ready to collapse the transition units for the right hand side on the bottom scales. These ones here first. Then we'll do the exact same here. And then we'll fill in the gaps. So, now we're going to collapse the transition units. So, there's two sets lower ones which are these ones, the ones at the bottom, or closest to the scales and then the top ones, the ones higher up. We do the ones higher up first on the colour side, so this is the colour side and we do, we do those ones first and then we do the lower ones, the bottom ones, on the white side so we need to flip the paper around to do the bottom ones, so we'll do the top ones first. So I'm going to keep this bit pegged here then just undo this one. So obviously this crease isn't a unit. This is just part of the tail, which is this one right here. I'll just make this the mountain fold, which it should be. Anyway, so the first scale Move that paper up slightly as we lift this up, and here it's here, right here. I've not made all the creases for it, I've only made the ones that I actually need, but I'll do the, the full sequence anyway just to show you. So open it up and make the mountain fold down this line, and push it back a wee bit more. So just extend these creases down to the bottom. It's just a wee half unit. If you've not already done so. So like that. And then we'll close it back up. Just fold this to the side. So like that. We can fold this back up. So you should have something like this. Now we want to spread sink this, so basically fold it in half, which I've already done when I was pre-creasing. And make sure the paper's flat. Just peg it here as well. That was a fail. Right, I'll just peg the bottom up. Right, make sure it's flat. It isn't going to lie as flat, but as flat as you can. Open it up. Just zoom in. And then spread sink it. So make the mountain fold. Or if you've not already, fold this in half. Then unfold it. And then make these sides, the mountain folds. Mm. 
I'm just going to open up slightly. I've already got them in place. Let's damn pegs. So I'm just going to try and put it in place roughly. So again, something like that. I'm just going to stop the camera now so I can get this to lie perfectly with no, I don't need to actually. Right, anyway, you should have something like that. Now fold the left hand side over. And then you're going to want to close sync the left hand side inside. So open it up. I've got my finger here. I'm going to oops, keep it closed and then just push in this part and then make the mountain fold all the way down and then this one the valley fold and I'll use my wee tool just to help there we go That is basically the first one. And then you can fold this part inside. So just lift up this flap. Then pop it inside. And that's the first one done. You can fold it back up. And you have something like this in these layers. Right, now I'm going to do the exact same, so we've did, we did this one, the top one, then we're going to go to the next top one and do the exact same, so, and then the same, 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 so we'll do it one, two, three, four more times, so I'll do these four, or I'll, I'll do one more and then I'll do the other three off camera. So again, open it back up. I need to find the top one, which is here. Make the mountain fold. And then collapse it back up. There we go. And then as best you can, fold it flat. It's a nightmare trying to control all this paper while doing this. And then Move paper, stay like that, please. Fold it up, fold it in half if you've not already, and then spread sink it. So make the mountain folds.
just difficult to make it perfect because the paper doesn't lie properly flat, but you just need to bear with it. So you have this, and then fold this over, and close sink the top layer and side. So make the mountain fold. And then push this part inside. I'm just using the retool to help collapse it flat, which is. And then tuck this layer underneath. And then try your best to make it all lie flat. And there we go, that's two done. So we have the exact same sequence of layers. So, done the first top one, we've done the second top one, you've got one, two, three more top ones to do. So I'm going to do these three off camera and then we'll do the, uh, the first bottom one. So now we've done, we've done the first five. So one, two, three, four, five. The top five, we've just done these. I did the first two, then did the other three off camera. So you should have something like this. And it's the exact same here, 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 and here. Right, so to do the bottom ones, we turn the paper over. It's gonna be a nightmare. Right, so to do the bottom ones, let me just show you. This is the first one right here, we'll do this one first. So it's basically under my finger now. So we need to open this up. And then make, where is it? Yep, here and here. So the mountain fold, again, here and here and then the mountain fold all the way down so yep look oh it's the wrong crease is it Oh, this one, it's the inside one, I did the wrong one. No wonder I couldn't figure out there. So again, make the mountain fold, and then the mountain fold, then the mountain fold, and then valley on the inside. So let me just do this. Again, I'll do the two, and then I'll let you do the rest. Maybe I should have made these creases when I was pre-creasing. But anyway, so you've got something like this. Again, these creases stay the way they are. Okay, so now we need to put this back together. So. Bring this together. then this part gets pushed back inside. But you can do it like that first. Just try to flatten this out to make it as easy as possible to show you. So let me just show you, open up more. So again we've got the valley fold mountain, mountain, mountain all the way down and then the mountain here and of course this is so we need to make this mountain fold behind I 
and then the mountain fold here. I'll put it down like this first, just so I can get it collapsed. Try and get this pine close. Peg it here just to hold this in place and now. So again, I've got it like this, it's not correct. So if you've got it, if it looks something like this, and then you need to take this layer, this one here, and put it behind this one. So like that. Get rid of that. And then we do the exact same thing. So we'll fold it up. Or fold it in half first if you've not already. And then spread sink it. I really can't wait till this paper completely shrinks down to a reasonable size. And then you should have something like this. Just try and flatten out just a wee bit. Okay, you should have something like that. And then again, fold this over, this top one, or the one, no, the one on the left, and then close sink it. Close sink this top one inside. Push, and then I get my weed tool just to help me neaten it out. There we go. And then there we go. That is the first set of scales done. Now, if these are ready to start collapsing into the scales, but of course we need to do it for the rest of the paper first. So that's the first one, I'll do the, the second one again. So we've just did this first one. I'll do this one, and then you can do the other two yourself. I'll do these two off camera, just to save time. So again, under this layer, open it up. Make the mountain fold down the center crease. And then again, try and hopefully you can see that. Okay, zoom in a wee bit. We've got mountain fold, not it's here, it's here. Mountain fold, mountain, valley, mountain. Like that. And then again, tuck this layer behind this mountain fold. So this layer goes in here, not here, it goes behind it. And as best you can, just flatten it out. And that's sound, that seems fine to me. So I'm just going to get. Make this flat roughly than now. What the hell's happened here? Oh my god, Chrissy's, what are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? Uh, 
and then again spread sink this part difficult to keep in, in control. So again you should have something like this. Fold the left layer over, the top layer, and then close sink it inside. push and I'll use my weed tool to make it neat. There we go. And then flatten it all. Second set of transition units done. So again, do it two more times, and then we'll continue. So that's me just done those transition units, the last two, <clears throat> and you should have something like this when you're finished. I'll just flip it around to show you that side. Well, this is what it looks like. Now basically what we're going to do is skip this part and jump to this part and we're going to do the exact same to what we did here on the right and then fill in the gaps with these middle creases. So now that we've collapsed these ones it's basically we're going to, we're, we're going to do the exact same here again starting with the top ones on the colour side. So these are the bottom ones. So the ones the top ones are underneath the first flap. So again if we open up here's the, the diamond. So we can make the mountain fold here. And then again, straight down the centre one. And then just like that. Oh, the battery's going to die already. There we go. Once you've done that, again, fold it in half, if you've not already, open it up, and then just get rid of this. Open it up, then make the mountain folds. A bit, you just squash fold it again. I'll just close this back over just to help flatten it. There. And then the same again, close sink the top layer 
and say it. So that is the first one done. So now do the exact same again for the other ones. I'll just see how much there is. So we've done the first top one. There is one, two, three, four more top ones to do. I'll do those off camera and then we'll do the bottom ones. So I've just did the other ones. So in total, one, two, three, four, five, six in total. Just to show you again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to flip the paper around and do the exact same process in the bottom six. So I'll do the first one and then I'll do the rest off camera. So I'm going to flip this again. But you can tell, look how much, look how flat it is. Oh, it's getting much flatter compared to that side, which is a nightmare. Anyway, where am I? Alright, so I'll unpeg the first one. Oops. And then the same again, it's under this flap. So open it up. And then we'll make the diagonal. I probably should have made these pre creasing. I don't think I would need to use them because I could just fold straight into the, the unit. After the next time I'll do that. And then make the mountain fold down the center. Right there we go. Now again, fold it in half, if you've not already, and spread sink it. I need to do this bit off camera just to fix this wee So now that's that done. Now, again, close sync this top layer inside.
and then fold this layer to the right. And then this layer to the right as well. Oh god, can't get this part. Don't worry, once you put all these creases in place, this will all lie completely flat. So there we go, there's the first two done. I'm just going to peg it here and take the next one off. So again, do the exact same, you've got five more to go. One, two, three, four, and five in here. So do it again five more times, and I'll do it off camera. So that's all that done. And I've flipped it back over to the colour side, and I'm just trying to flatten out as much as possible. So now all that's left to do is, there's my tool, which there. So we've done all this, we've done all this, now it's just to fill in the wee gap here, and here, and then that's it. So we can do this bit first because it's small, but I'm going to do it off camera because I'm not too sure exactly how the creases go, but I'll show it in full detail once I've collapsed it. So I've just done, done this last part. I'm not too sure if this last layer is correct, but it seems to be. It all lies flat when you close it together. No, they're all going the same way. So, all that's done. All that's done. It's just this centre part which we'll do tomorrow. Because I need, I need to stop, what time is it? 10 11 at night. So I'll show this in more detail tomorrow on. It's, it's basically the exact same. New enough, straightforward. Right, so this is the last part that we need to fill in, just this wee gap here. So again, it's going to be hard to show exactly what I'm doing, so if you are here, keep referring to the crease pattern, which is what I'm going to do. So it's going to be impossible to show you, do this line, do that, do that, because it's, it's quite everywhere at the moment. So again, just refer to the crease pattern. I'm, I'm going to start from the right and work my way backwards to where I stopped here. And hopefully by the time I get there, it's all done. This is confusing.
do this bit off camera because I'm not sure. So I've managed to get most of this part done, well, just the start of it. Again, because I was unsure about, where is it? Um, I was unsure about this mountain fold and then valley, 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 but it's the exact same as these ones. So it's just need to, I just need to do the same process. So I'm not getting much more to go. Hopefully I should, this, sh the, this should be flat in a couple of minutes. Again, that gets sucked. Pinch up. This is the last wee bit we need to do. And then again, this mountain fold, valley, 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 is the exact same as this one here and all the bottom ones. So it's the same process again. I just need to check this crease pattern to make sure I'm doing it the right. Mountain on the It's a straight down valley fold. needs to get pushed down. Stay in place. I need to put something heavy on you. Thank you. 
opened up. See right here. So it's the mountain fold I've got, mountain fold got, then the valley fold. So I must just push straight over. This is a valley fold. And what about this side part? This is here. Mountain, 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 valley. So this needs to get pushed inside. And I actually think we've got it here. So, oh, just as the battery's going to die, I'm just trying to get it quickly. So I didn't actually work the battery; it cut out just there. This just collapsed this last part. Um, this needs to be a valley fold. Then we've got spot down place there. I'm just pushing this extra bit of paper as much as I can out just to make it as neat as possible. Make my arms calm now. And this is the valley fold. There we go. That is fully collapsed. Let me just zoom out. So that is basically the entire left, the bottom set of scales collapsed. So as you can see here, we've just collapsed. Oh, this. Can't believe I'm actually crazy enough to do this and record it as well. And this is my very first one, in case you didn't know. So again, everything that we did here do the exact same up here. So the exact same process as to 
how I did this applies to here as well. Because look at the bit, look, look at the difference compared to here. All flat to here, which is a mess, and I don't want to go into that again. So, again, thanks for watching, everyone, and do the exact same we did at the bottom, up the top. <laughs>